Hey, my name's Inter, welcome back to the channel. Patch 10.3 introduces the Season of Hope, an update with a ton of new content, reworks, system changes, skins, events, and more. In this video, I'll cover everything you need to know about the patch in a short format. So first up, we have the new skins. There's a ton of new skins coming for the Hope Reborn event, which is an Odyssey-style event where there's chests you can roll for the skins or you can purchase them directly. This patch, we have Annihilator Matikoras, Business Dog Anubis, Fenrir XD Fenrir, Void Swan Surtur, Cryomech Yamiya, and Shadow Tanuki Dazaburo, with Elven Enchanter Morgan Le Fay as the midway reward for the event, and the Leading Lady Aphrodite Tier 5 as the reward for completing the full event, aka buying everything. It's not just that event though, we also have the Duality Battle Pass in this update which is going to be a slightly larger battle pass than normal i think it's 90 levels instead of 60 and this will have lich lord and lich reborn amc as well as arcane wizard and arcane charmer zeus Witch of the Mire and Witch of the Woods Nox, and Lifebringer King Arthur. These double skins are all basically slightly changed designs of each other, and Lifebringer Arthur already has a, its equivalent in Deathbringer King Arthur that was released a while back. And finally for skins in this patch, we have Witch Seeker Amaterasu, which is part of the Community Calendar event, which features a bunch of community-made cosmetics like jump stamps and war skins and stuff like that, and this skin will be available for completely free during the event. Moving into some more gameplay-focused changes though, first up we have the HUD update, which I have a full video on already if you want to check that out, I'll link that down down below, but essentially the hood is now more customizable and features a more minimalist design than before. There's been a major conquest update as well, with increases to shut down kill rewards, a ranked soft reset, a complete art and environment change to include more luminous plants and water in theme with the new season, jungle pathing changes as well, including a more open area around the uh, back happy camps, as well as the duo side back happies are now the cyclops thieves, which give the same rewards as before, but will spawn chests with bonus gold for the team that's behind currently. These can be stolen by the enemy team, denying denying you the gold, but they won't get the gold in return, it just takes it away from you. They offer a big way back into the game if you're behind, so take them as often as you can and invade them if you're winning. Mid happies now have one less happy, so two instead of three, but they'll spawn roaming happies like back camps do that roam around the gold fury and fire giant pits respectively towards the side lanes. A major healing update is hitting the game in this patch as well. There's so many individual card changes here that I can't possibly cover them all, but the general idea is that heals no longer scale with power and are reduced across the board by around 30%, but all all the gods with healing that generally got it decreased have got buffs elsewhere in their kit to compensate for that. The out of combat healing reduction system known as brawling has also been removed from the game entirely. Along with the changes to healing, there are two new item trees in the game specifically themed around healing, one for magical and one for physical. The magical tree has Rod of Asclepius move to it along with two new items. Rejuvenating Heart grants stacks on ability or basic attack hits that are consumed on your next heal to boost its potency, and Last Gasp grants you bonus power when you heal allies based on their missing health. The physical tree has Caduceus Club move to it, much in a similar way as Rod of Asclepius, and two new items as well. Vital Amplifier provides bonus attack speed and basic attack damage when you heal heal yourself, stacking up to 3 times and lasting 6 seconds, while Sekhmet's Scepter triggers on healing yourself or an ally and grants a buff for 6 seconds that whenever you damage an enemy god, you reduce your non-ultimate cooldowns by 0.5 seconds and this effect has an internal cooldown of 12 seconds. Anti-shielding is becoming more prominent in this update as well, with Gem of Isolation and Envenomed Deathbringer both getting 50% shield reduction when you apply their effect. Envenomed is also getting healing reduction added to it as well. While a new item, Erosion, focuses specifically on anti-shielding, reducing shields in an aura around you by 30% in a similar vein to Pestilence and Contagion, and every time a nearby enemy gains a shield, you gain movement speed for 4 seconds. Like gods, many healing and lifesteal items also got nursed to the healing and sometimes buffs to compensate, but not always. Again, I can't realistically cover every item change in a video like this, but I do have full videos covering the changes in depth and my thoughts on them if you want to check those out, link will be down below. But that's it for the 10.3 Season of Hope update in 4 minutes. Don't forget to drop a like before you leave, and I will catch you guys in another one later on.